Greetings, this is Walt Weir again from Jocks County Community College doing MOAC 7D698 Lab 3 Configuring Devices and Device Drivers. So basically you open up this lab and it says go to London 3 and we're already there. Put in password again. And log in. This one we're going to be configuring a um, a virtual hard drive VDH excuse me VHD. We're going to create a virtual hard drive for this box. So the way we do that is to right click it and go to disk management here. So we click this and we went to here. Um, if the initialize initialize disk dialog box displays, click cancel. It takes a few minutes here, so I'm going to just pause it. Oh, there it is. Never mind. And just click cancel. And um, click action. Create a virtual hard drive. Create virtual hard drive. In, in location text box, copy this. Paste it in there. I put the period in there, so I'm going to cancel it. And I want to say 20 gigs. Virtual hard drive. Here, I want to dynamically expand rather than fixed. I say take a screenshot. We're not going to do that. Click OK. Right click on the new 20 gig hard drive. You gotta scroll down. So there's our new 20 gig hard drive under disk five. So again, it's you're gonna come up up here. You scroll down until you hit disk five. Right click on that. And it's gonna say um, new. Excuse me. Did I go, oh sorry. Initialize disk. Initialize disk. And we're going to click OK. Now it's up here. Now we got to right click on the allocation and new simple disk. From here it says say welcome screen. The wizard helps you to create a simple disk volume. Click next. In the size, we want to click next because it's going to give it some minimal disk space and the maximum disk space. You can assign a drive letter if you want here. Um, I try to keep it simple. If it's a student, I do S. For faculty, I do F. Um, for admin, you can't do A, of course, but for admin, we would try to, try to find something. But E is a good letter. Click Next. On the Format Partition, we cl um, click Next also here, too, but let's just explore a little bit. We could do FAT and FAT32, like we talked about in class. Um, default, you can put any kind of allocation size and new volume, but here we just want to click next. Then it tells you, it summarizes everything, and please look it over before you do it, because you can change it, of course, but it's easier to fix it now when you're clicking back, but it says here to finish. And in the box that displays property to format disks, disk, click cancel. And now we have our new drive E that we don't have any information in yet. So 
on the disk management to detach this right click on it and click detach so we go back here again we want to go to disk 5 if you had to reopen it remember you scroll down get disk 5 and come here and right click on it and what does it say to do detach Detach virtual hard drive here and it detaches it and tells you where it's going to be. Click OK and now it's gone. This five has gone. To reattach, now you, you find out you still need it, such as somebody came back and said, Hey, we still need that disk. You go to Action, Attach VHD, Action, Attach V. HD and you hit browse and in this part you want to put this right here under here click open then OK Now we can see this five again, just like we had it before. Okay, that's it for this exercise. I'm going to close it. That's pretty quick, six minutes. Close it, and you guys can do the next one with me.